Hi everyone, in this video, video tutorial we will modeling ball unpacking foam using Abacus. We will go through all necessary steps to run our job successfully. We will use and assume the packed the ball as rigid parts and the foam. We will use the hyper foam material model for simulating the foam hyper elastic behavior of, on the foam material. Let's get started. We have three parts in our model. The first part is our foam material and foam part. And also we have the ground and the rigid ball. First, let's go to foam parts and edit this part. We have the depth of our part is 2000 millimeter. And also we have sketch with 2000 to 100 millimeter. And we have the ground with dimensions of 200 to 5 millimeter and to 250 millimeter in the depth. And the last part is our the last part is our ball impact or impactor. With radius equal to forty millimeter. Now before creating material or import our material in our model let's go to assembly and create instance for our for our test we have three instance click apply in this part we have the ball as a rigid part let's cancel and go to the part and in the ball we should to convert to convert to to shell because we have this right rigid you should to convert to shell element or convert to hollow part before use in the assembly and use in our model let's go to this create create shell from solid as you can see here we have solid parts and we will convert to hollow part using this option and we need to create a reference point in this part now let's go to assembly again select three instances let's select the foam and the ground and translate the foam let's translate this point to this point but we need to move a little bit in x axis I think we can I can we can't use this option because we don't have circular axis. Let's go again to to this option. Select starting point and the point. Okay. And let's translate our home in the x axis. Let's flip direction with 25 millimeter. Okay, now our foam in the right position in the ground, as you can see here. Now let's add our ball impact, ball, rigid ball. 
parts and also translate in the right position click on the instance select this point starting point let's return select starting point and we need to move in the middle in this side let's create middle point create that one point middle way between two points now we have middle point and let's move in this point click ok now we have all configuration of our assembly are done and all instance in the right position in the assembly let's go to property and we have two materials the first material is the foam and also the steel material let's go to foam edit and let's take a look at our property and mechanical and material behaviors of our foam the first is the density the density is in the unit of ton per millimeter cube and because we have the dimensions in the millimeter and also we have the hyperform material model use it in the material behavior in our foam we have we use test data and also use the strain energy potential order and set to two because we have nonlinear elastic material we have sample shear test data and also any axial test data let's take a look at the first property we have nominal stress nominal strain and also nominal transverse stress and also we have uniaxial test data you can use the tension on or compression test data depending to your load in your model or in your FEM model for example in our case we have compression test we have our foam depend to our compression stress we will use the compression test data if you have any tension in your model you, you should to use the tensile test data in your material behavior click ok now let's go to steel material and we have density also in the ton per millimeter cube and the elastic property in the mega pascal young modulus units and also portions ratio now let's go to create sections the first section is foam section solid homogeneous continue select the foam material okay and let's create the second section solid homogeneous continue and select steel material okay now let's assign each, sec each section to our to their part the first section is the ground the first part is the ground and let's use the steel material steel section to our ground part and let's in the foam select foam section now we still have third part is the ball in this part because we have a rigid part you should to add the mass to this part you will use inertia or use engineering feature inertia use point mass inertia and let's Let's assign the mass to our part. In, in our case, we have 
2.005 on that means we have the half of one kilogram or 500 grams in our weight of our parts or our ball click okay now i have we have a wrong selection let's let's edit and select just the, the reference point okay now we have the weight assigned or mass assigned to our rigid ball and we will use in the impact test with the mass of half of kilograms kilogram now let's go to let's go to create step and create dynamic analysis step click continue and so good let's go to we have nonlinear geometry to on and incrementation also mass scaling you can use any parameters in this step now let's go to interaction and let's create interaction property between instances in our assembly let's let's first create the interaction we have two properties of interaction. The first one, the second one, tangential behavior and normal behavior. With friction or coefficient friction equal to 0.26. Now let's create interaction in our assembly. Let's go to find contact pairs. Click find contact pair pairs. And we have these two. Two zones of two zones of our contact. The first one between the ball and foam, and the second one between the foam and the ground. We have the type interaction with property of contact equal inter interaction property one created before. Click OK. As you can see here we have create two contacts the first one and the second one now let's go to load and create the boundary condition the first boundary condition is in the ground and create on cluster let's select cell select the ground parts select on cluster click ok and the second one is this in the initial also the step in the in the initial step displacement rotation continue select reference point of the ball rigid ball click on and select and avoid the movement in the x y X Z direction and rotation in the all directions and we just use the translation in the Y direction click OK now we need to add the velocity or the load to our ball let's go to predefined file and in the initial step let's use mechanical category velocity continue and select reference point of our ball rigid ball click on and let's add the initial velocity of our ball unit is in the millimeter per second and click ok let's edit and add zero in the velocity in other directions click ok 
Now, let's go to mesh and mesh our parts. The first part is the ball, 10 millimeter in the size of mesh. Apply, okay. Mesh our parts. Click yes. We have a rigid element type in the ground. Let's also use one 10 millimeter in the size of mesh. Mesh our part. Click yes. And let's go to rigid ball, the foam, and also we will use 10 millimeter in the size of elements. Click yes. Now we have the right mesh of our assembly and the the final step is to create the shop and run analysis. Analysis. Create shop. Compact. Boom. Continue. Parallelization. Okay. And submit. We have completed job. Let's go to the result. And let's take a look at the deformed shape. And on impact test. You can also plot and see some energy in your model, for example, internal energy, kinetic energy, strain energy, and also total, ener total energy. You can see this result and energy in your model. Until now, I hope you enjoy with this video. Don't forget to subscribe in my YouTube channel and like this video. See you.